<laughs> no, unfortunately, you might probably see my legs wobbling, but um, it's not the stage, it's actually my legs. <laughs> yeah, come from there. Um, I started this business um, three years ago, and to be honest, um, I worked around um, my job, which was 60 hours, five 12 hour days. So, a lot of people said, oh, I can't do it, I don't have time. Make time, I made time. Um, I love my TV, no, I'm not into soaps or anything like that, but I'm into a lot of murder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not morbid or anything like that, but I like my crime. Um, so I record everything, and I'd have one night to myself, if I'm not doing a launch, and I'd watch all the programs on one night, a marathon basically, <laughs> without running. And um, I saved myself about four hours of ads. No, that's four hours I did on network marketing that I saved by just watching it on a different night. So don't tell me ever what's happening on it. Um, I did my phone calls in the cloakroom. I was sneaking in between breaks. Um, while I was doing the clean iron, it was great. So I wasn't um, watching the lads at the lunch break eating. I was inside making my phone calls. Um, to be honest, as I said, um, I didn't realise I was hanging around negative Nellies. Um, I, was getting, I didn't realise I was bitter, but uh, by coming to my success days, by coming to my trainings, um, I was around positivity and it made me better instead of bitter. So I find that being around successful people <laughs> makes the difference. <laughs> Um, so last year I had a really difficult year and everybody else or some people would probably put in the towel and trust me um, I was pregnant um, which is great by the way that wasn't the par problem um, <laughs> but um, I was in crutches for most of the time uh, with sciatica I pregnancy diabetes I was an unexplained case I was up and down the hospital a few times I missed Telford I was gutted because they admitted me and they wouldn't let me out um, but I still did the business in the hospital with two fingers I had left because I was tied up with drips, but I still made it, so there's no excuses. Um, so I do think, like, I could have handed in the towel, I didn't. And thanks to my team, Amy was my leg and also I got a one plus one if you're wondering why this is so big, because I had a one plus one and Amy's excellent as well. My team is fabulous, outstanding, and my mentors who I used to drive made. I quit five times in Eve, but she wouldn't let me quit. And I'm so glad she didn't let me quit. Um, and I think, um, what my advice would be, um, as I said, go to your success days, go to your trainings, but stop comparing yourself to others. I used to do that. Um, I find be in your own race. Um, like we all, because of the flexibility of this business, especially with, you can do part-time, you can do full-time, you can work around commitments, you can work around your kids, um, mind your elderly parents if they're still there. Um, so like basically, don't compare, like you could compare yourself to Neve and James, you can compare yourself to, and they're moving faster. You could be comparing yourself that has more hours. Um, so to please don't compare yourself. Be, com in com com uh, <laughs> be competitive to yourself. Look in that mirror every morning and say, I'm going to be a better person um, and, and go with it. Um, so I also say, um, like, as I said, I could have given up. I didn't. And if you're having those days, down days, talk to somebody to bring you back up because sometimes it's very hard to get, um, get back up on your own. Um, so I'm overwhelmed. Um, my next goal is actually to talk to Rex because when I went up to him with the check, I was like, uh, I couldn't talk to him. So my next goal is actually to say hello or something because um, I didn't manage the courage to actually talk to him. I was just like shaking. <laughs> So, um, Rex, I'm coming for you. Um, <laughs> to meet him, not murder him or anything like that, to meet him. Um, so, yeah, I, I, Singapore is an awe, and guess what? Anyone can do it. The possibilities is endless, and it's just fantastic. And don't do what I did. I actually set this business for eight months at the start and flattened it. And I'm telling you, I flattened it. Um, <laughs> it was just by retailing. I didn't, I got 80 no's and I thought nobody wanted to join me, but I probably wasn't explaining it right. Um, I lost the confidence, but this is a big confidence booster as well. So let's go with it. Um, You've nothing to lose. And um, as I say, it's a two to five year plan for me. 
And like I'm now on my own with Rory, and like I have a little boy, and he's. He, I, I need to catch up to him now because he's on the move at the moment. But like, I have the opportunity to do that and I have the possibilities, it's endless. And my dream board, I had to actually buy another board because the one wouldn't do. I have to fit in the pictures on the second one. And I moved it. I actually had, I, I'll tell you this, I had the dream board as I was going into the toilet, which was the wrong place to have it. Um, because it was the wrong thoughts going that way. So I actually moved it to the hallway. So when I come in the door, I can see it. When I come out of the sitting room, I can see it. And when I'm going up the stairs, I can see it. So where is it? On my mind and I'm focused. Not when I'm going to the toilet. Um, but do you know, I, it's all those little things that make a big difference. So like I would just think where you're putting your goal board and your um, a dream board as it's called, but as mine are getting bigger and I'm going to be in Africa and who's coming with me? <laughs> Well, we're really glad you didn't quit, Lizzie. Many congratulations. Nearly $10,000, everybody.